Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today another SCCM 2012, I believe, R2 uh, video for you guys. And we're going to continue our a mini series. And today we're configuring our uh, software update point uh, with our endpoint products to sync. And on the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to configure your SUP, your SUP, which is your software update point to deliver definition updates using automated deployment rules. So let's get started. So open up your console. You want to go into administration. Once administration is up, go into the site configuration folder. Go to sites. And I only have one uh, site, and this is my primary site. So I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to go to configure site components, and we're going to go into software update point or SUP. Once the dialog box pops up, we want to go to products. And the product that we want uh, updates would be the last thing that we did together was the, the Forefront Endpoint Protection 2010. Let's get that. I'm going to click Apply. And we're going to go to the Sync Schedule. And then from here, by default, it's seven days, but it's really up to you. I'm going to do one day. And we're going to apply. You can even change days to hours. But one day is okay. Let's click OK. Now, next thing that we need to do is update. So let's go to Software Library. Within Software Library, go inside the Software Update folder. Let's expand that. And then you got all software updates. So I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to do Synchronize Software Updates. It's going to say, uh, it's going to give you a nice little dialog box. You can uh, review the synchronization process by checking the SNFs, WSUS Sync Manager component, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you can click yes, and it's going to start syncing. But if you want to check the logs, you can actually check the logs. So if you go inside your folder, uh, I drop my SCCM stuff inside a D drive, and it would be program files, Microsoft Configuration Manager, and within logs, we want to find the one that says WSync Manager. And I'm going to open up with the CM Trace application. It looks like I had some issues in the past. And it's gonna retry again. It looks like it's retrying. I gotta check what's. I gotta see what's going on with my WSUS. Uh, it's probably a firewall issue in my part because I know I was playing around with the firewall in the past. And that's it, guys. Uh, that is how we configure SUP products to sync and perform a sync within SCCM 2012. On the next video, I'm gonna show you guys how to configure SUP to deliver a definition update using an automatic deployment rule. And then we're going to continue with the series. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If any comments or, or any feedback, leave it at the bottom of the video at the comment section. Don't forget about hitting that like button. And subscribe because that's if you subscribe, you get the latest and greatest tips, tricks, hacks, and geeky related stuff to you guys. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.